how how cool is this black and white safari cup? Would love to go there one day. Anyway, today's video, I well, it's going to be a street photography POV walk around London video that I do on this channel quite a lot. But before I get into it, there are two things that I want to have a chat to you about. Well, the first thing is actually me reaching out to you for your feedback. So. Street photography POV videos are very much the thing right now. Everyone does them. Some people do them well. Some people don't do them very well. But generally speaking, if you watch 10 from YouTube, you will get roughly the same thing. A GoPro strapped to a chest, a guy walking around London, either music playing like in my videos or them doing commentary, um, taking some pictures, and generally that's about it. And... After doing that pretty much myself for the last six months, and I reckon, what, 10 POV videos in total, I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit bored with it. Um, I'm not bored with the idea of it. I think the idea of walking around with a camera around a city is still my favourite thing when it comes to photography and still the type of content that I want to make for as long as possible. That is the only thing that brings me sort of joy within the photography thing is just walking around and taking pictures. But I just feel there is a better way to convey that than to strap a GoPro to my chest and to walk around. And uh, I've been trying different things to increase the production quality. And ultimately, my goal with these videos is for them to be 50% about photography, but 50% about a really nice cinematic video of the city or of the area that I'm taking pictures in. So if you, let's say, if you live in America, you've not been to London, then you can look at one of my videos where, let's say, I walk around Shoreditch, and you'll get a really good feel for the area, but also see some of the photography and the street photography as well. Um, my question here is if that type of video were to exist, what would you like to seeing it what would you like what information would you like to get out of that video now if we exclude things like how i edit photos or what camera settings i use because i'll put the little description below but excluding the technical details which don't really matter what would you really like to get out of it from a more of a being there type way i hope that makes sense if it makes sense just write it down below if it doesn't make sense also write that down below because maybe i'm also just as unsure about which which direction to, to take it in but anyway that's that so put that aside the second thing is it's black friday coming up in two three days so um i don't normally do sales on any any of my stuff unless it's through the newsletter so for Black Friday, I am going to do 40% off all my prints. However, I think quite a few have already been snapped up and the stock is almost, well, it's not almost gone, but it's very low. Most prints, there's only one of them left or two maximum. So 40% of prints, once they're gone, they're gone. Uh, presets, it's 30% off. And for one-to-ones online or in person, it's 15% off. All the links and the codes are down below. Um, if you're, as you're watching this video now, it's live and it will end at the end of this month, which is November 2020. So if you're watching it in the summer of 2025, you've probably missed it. Okay, I've done way too much of that. So I will get into the video. Watch this video because there is one difference with regards to how I filmed this video versus the previous ones, which will tie in to the first point thing that I've spoken about. I am going to shut up. Have a good day.